Hi everyone, here's a sneak peek of the DIYs that I'll be creating for you coming up. everyone and welcome back to Belinda's DIYs. If this is your first time here, welcome. So today I'm going to be creating these very beautiful watercolor bunnies. Now I used the dishware from Dollar Tree, but I'm going to show you how you can transform just an ordinary dish into something that looks like a painting or actually like a water painting. I can't wait to show you how I came up with this DIY. These actually do look store-bought. And here's another DIY, this Happy Easter sign, and I used all Dollar Tree items. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. For the first projects, I'm going to be using these two white plates from Dollar Tree and these are the ones that are square. I really love the shape and they look very high end so I'm absolutely loving these from Dollar Tree at the moment. And I'll also be using these two white mugs also from Dollar Tree. And some good old Mod Podge in the matte formula and some acrylic paint in the color Key West. And I printed these out from my computer and I just googled some watercolor pictures for bunnies and this is what I found. I'll go ahead and link it down below in case you wanna print the same exact bunnies out. So I'll be using this one as well and also some smaller ones that I printed out that I'll be using on my mugs. And I'll also be using two of these display easels from Dollar Tree. And last but not least, some spray paint and this is in the Rust-Oleum metallic finish. So I started off by cleaning my ceramic plates and cups and I used some glass cleaner for that. And I just lightly sprayed them down and then wiped them off. And I just wanted to make sure that I would get them nice and clean before I would add my picture and my paint. Next, I started to cut around this first watercolor bunny. And what I did is just carefully just go all around the edge. And this is just regular copy paper. It's nothing special. But I do like using this type of paper because whenever I add the Mod Podge, it really sticks well. I'm going to be gluing the picture like this right in the center of the plate. But before that I do that, I'm going to turn my picture over and I'm going to add the Mod Podge to the back of the picture and I'm just going to basically brush it on. And now I'm carefully going to place it right in the center of the plate and then I'm going to brush off the bubbles using my fingers. And now to seal off the picture, I'm going to add some more Mod Podge directly on top of the picture and I'll just be brushing it on. And now I'm just going to give this a few hours until it dries. Next, I'm going to cut out the smaller version of the same bunny. And now I'm going to be applying it to my mug. I followed the same steps as I did to the larger bunny. I put the Mod Podge on the back and then I placed it on my mug, I smoothed it out, and then I added some more Mod Podge to seal it off. And now I'm also going to let this dry for a few hours. For the second larger bunny, I did the same steps as I did to the first one, and then I placed it on the plate, and then I sealed it off, and then I cut off the smaller version of it, and I placed it on my mug. Here's the plate. And here's the mug. I really loved how these plates looked as is, but I still wanted them to have just a bit more of a spring color. 
So what I ended up doing is adding a border all the way around using that blue acrylic paint. And just by using a sponge, I just tapped the color all the way around the edging. I really love how this plate turned out. I think it looks very high end. What do you think? So I wanted my mug to match my plate, so I went ahead and I also did the same thing. I added the blue border on the top of the mug and also on the bottom. Just note, these are only for decorations. They are not to drink out of. And this is how the mug turned out. Now I'll be doing the same thing to the other mug and the other plate as well. The next thing that I did is take these two easels out and I spray painted them with the copper spray paint. Okay, so my easels are dry now and now I'm ready to add my plates to them. And this is how they turned out. For the next project, I'm going to be using two of these silver bunnies and these are from Dollar Tree. These were out last year. And I'll also be using these foam dies and there's two per pack. I ended up using six of them. I used two sheets of these poster stickers, some floral moss, and some spray paint from Rust-Oleum, and this is in the semi-gloss in the color Hunter Green. And also some Waverly chalk paint in the color White. Okay, since I don't really care for these silver bunnies, what I'm gonna do is take them outside and spray paint them with the Hunter Green spray paint. Okay, so the paint is dry, and as you can see, now my bunnies are green. And what I want to do with them is add some moss because I want them to have that moss look to them. And since they were so brightly silver, I figured that the silver would come through. So what I'm going to start doing now that they're nicely painted green, I'm going to start adding the moss sections at a time by just adding some hot glue. Once I'm done covering the bunny with the moss, it's gonna look like one big blob. But don't worry, um, after the glue dries, I'm gonna start removing that extra moss, and then it's gonna start taking its shape. Once I start pulling off the excess moss, also cutting off the areas that need to be cut off and just shaping it up. Once I start trimming off the moss, you start seeing that it starts to take shape. And this is how my bunny turned out and now I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. I decided to add a little small bow to the side of the bunny. The next thing that I'm going to do is paint the dice foams and I'm going to be painting 11 of them. I'll be giving them one coat of paint and then let it dry and give it a second coat. And this is how they look once both coats of paint is dry and they do look like marshmallows I think. Now I'm ready to start adding the letter stickers and what I'm gonna spell out is Happy Easter. And here's my first set of blocks that spells out happy. And here's the second set that spells Easter. So what I want to do is join the blocks together so I'm gonna be hot gluing each one side by side.
So now what I want to do is stack both sets together and I'm going to start by adding some hot glue on the bottom of the stack that says happy and then just place it on top of the Easter stack. And now I want to make sure that the letters won't come off, so I'm going to be brushing on some Mod Podge over each letter. And now I'm going to be doing something totally different. I'm going to be adding some moss in different areas of this sign. I've seen several projects done with these foam blocks, and the majority have made them look a little bit rustic by adding some paint here and there but I wanted mine to be just a little bit different and since it's springtime, I thought of just adding some moss and just putting a little bit of green to them. I think it came out pretty nice. They are different. Let me know what you think. And then I wanna complete this sign by adding a bunny on each side. And this is how the Happy Easter sign turned out. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.